Hello, ghosts and goblins, and welcome back to my channel. I am Dottie Spartans, your favorite ghoul friend, and I'm here to review another B-rated horror movie for you. I have a little bit of Prosecco left, and I'm gonna be talking about a movie that is near and dear to my heart, okay? This movie is called Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. I specifically did not pick a white claw this episode, so that way I did not have trouble opening the can. I, I'm gonna preface this by saying that I love zombie movies. I love all kinds of zombie movies. I love shitty zombie movies. I even watched Diary of the Dead. Yeah, Diary of the Dead. And I just ate this movie up. When you're talking about good zombie movies, right? You, you know, you have movies like Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Zombie, 28 Days Later, you know, things like that, quality zombie movies. Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies is nothing like that. Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies is this, this beautiful, campy, ridiculous zombie film. Zombies are dead meat. Well, it honestly takes you on this incredible topsy-turvy journey that you're not expecting. I found the movie on Amazon Video and I immediately, just from the title, immediately said, I have to watch this film. I didn't even look at the reviews. I didn't even watch the trailer. It's called Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. I was watching it. I was not sure what I was in for. And let me tell you, I was so pleasantly surprised. Let's start out setting. So it's set in the Swiss Alps, I think, maybe. So the movie follows these two friends who are professional snowboarders. I did not know that professional snowboarding was a deal. It apparently is. It's a huge thing. Google it. So <laughs> these two professional snowboarders in the Swiss Alps who are doing tricks and things for their label. Is it a label? Is it called a label when you are a snowboarder? Oh, who knows? They are snowboarding, they're doing their thing, they're having a great time. Um, there's this really fantastic scene where one of the guys is streaking for all intents and purposes, but he's on his snowboard. I wasn't mad about it. Not angry in any respect. While this is all going on, Another part of the mountain. Let's transport to that other part of the mountain now. On the other part of the mountain, you have this deranged scientist who is trying to create this snow that doesn't melt. So that way, the business on the mountain that provides the skiing and, and the snowboarding and whatnot for the winter they will be able to do this even in the summer, which is a wonderful idea. And I think that if anybody out there can make that happen, I think that it's great because why not snowboard in the summer? So they're, cre they're testing out this new snow that doesn't melt. And when they decide to test it out, one of the gentlemen gets a whole bunch of it in his face or whatever. And he becomes this deranged zombie. And it is a foretelling of what is to come as it shoots out over the mountain and covers the whole mountain in a barrage of 
chemicals that are bad for you. I feel like most chemicals are bad for you. Some of them are good, I guess. Who knows? Not me. I'm not a chemist. Now, obviously, these chemicals lead to a zombie outbreak, obviously, because this movie is called Attack of the Leader Hose and Zombies. It's not a surprise. No one's surprised by the zombies. So now you have zombies on a mountain. What more could you want? Aside from snowboarding. So they are now trying to get off the mountain because for whatever reason, at a certain point, people are not allowed to leave the mountain at some point. I, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't really try to figure out what that was about. At a certain point, no one is allowed to leave the mountain. There's no travel happening. There's no buses or ski lifts leaving this town, right? So now everybody's trying to get out before that happens. So you have your snowboard athletes who are athletic and snowboard. And you have the girlfriend of one of them. So now they're at the lodge, they're doing their thing. They wanna get out of there before this all happens, but they don't get out of there before it all happens. You have Rita, the bartender. I just want you to know this whole video is just a love letter to Rita and the actress who plays her. I don't know who that is, but check the, the description because I'll put it in there, I guess. Rita is really the most important character in this whole movie. She is the only one who does anything. That doesn't mean that I don't like this movie. I love this movie. You have Rita, she's bartending, she's doing her thing. Zombies. There's this really fantastic scene where the zombies are all in the bar and the music is playing and they're like swaying, these like dancing zombies and I'm living for this dancing zombie movement. I really am. At a certain point, our main characters end up in the attic of the lodge. Rita somehow ends up with a machine gun, like a full on, like a full on machine gun. And she's taking out zombies left and right. Brilliant, fantastic. Honestly, if the movie was just Rita taking out zombies the whole time, I would watch it. So you have your mad scientist guy who's trying to get off the mountain as well because he's like, hey, I caused all this, but I don't want anybody to know that I caused all this because, like, that could kill my career. And you have your snowboarders who are athletic and snowboard. And then you have the girlfriend of the boy who is a snowboarder who's athletic. And then you have Rita. Nobody is, like, modus operandi mesh. Everybody is trying to get off the mountain Except for Rita, because, like, it's her lodge. Like, why would she want to leave? Then there's this really fantastic scene. This really fantastic scene with these zombie reindeer. I said it. Zombie reindeer. They're just... Oh, they're a joy. The CGI is not great. And the practical effects are also not great. But I love... These zombie reindeer, they are incredible. They make the movie. Rita, zombie reindeer, that's all you need. If, if it was just Rita fighting zombie reindeer, I'd watch it. I just need a little more Prosecco. And some beach schnapps. I'm unstoppable. I don't want to give everything away, but I, I know that you can pretty much gather that it is ridiculous. And I love that. I love, I love a movie that is so ridiculous and so over the top that I don't really know what to do with myself. I honestly sat there and just with my mouth hanging open. I love this. Please. <laughs> Please go and watch Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. I wish I could literally just sit you down and make you watch this movie. <sighs> Out of all of the movies I've reviewed so far, which is literally two other movies, this movie is so 
good. It is so fun. It is so campy. It is so ridiculous. If you are a fan of campy zombie movies, I'm talking Shaun of the Dead, Fido, things like that. If you are a fan of campy zombie movies, you will love Attack of the Leader Hosen Zombies. Leader Hosen Zombies. It was very dead snow, except no Nazis, which is probably a good thing. I urge you, I beg you, I please, please, please go and watch Attack of the Leader Hosen Zombies. I will Google it right now. I will tell you where you can find it, because I am that. I... I am so insistent that you are able to watch Attack of the Leader Hosen Zombies. I'm going to Google it right now. And, and I'm wearing nails, so typing this is an effort. Attack of the Leader Hosen Zombies is available on Tubi for free. It is available on... Voodoo for $2.99, it is available on Amazon Prime for $2.99, and it is available on iTunes for $4.99. Do I want you to have to spend money to watch this movie? Yes, I do. It is so good, and I, I, I want you to support the filmmakers because it really is so much fun. When it comes to B-horror, this movie is so fantastic. Not only is it a fun horror movie, but it is a fun movie in general. It is hilarious, it is heartfelt, and it has gore. I, I honestly thoroughly, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed watching Attack on the Leader Hosen Zombies. I really, really hope that you will too. Ghosts and Goblins, thank you so much for coming back and checking out my newest video. If this is your first time here, I hope that you subscribe and like this video. If you are returning, thank you so much for your constant support. I'm just a drag queen who likes horror movies and I want to support B horror movies that are probably not getting the attention that they deserve. And I also, I also just want people to pay attention to me because I'm alone and I'm stuck inside on quarantine. So please, please subscribe to this video, like this video, share it with your friends. I know the Boulay brothers are doing a podcast where they review movies. I'm not as good at it as they are. But hopefully, hopefully this is fun. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you get a laugh out of this whole situation because... Listen, I've been drinking. I can't be held responsible for the things that come out of my mouth. I also really just like this makeup and I didn't want to take it off without doing a video. It's horror. It's drag. What more could you want? You should subscribe so you can see more. You should like this video because I'm beautiful. You should watch my other videos because you're stuck at home quarantined and have nothing better to do. I'm Daddy Spartans. Check under your bed for monsters. Good night.